internationally renowned Aussie children's music group, The Wiggles, the group that gave us Wake Up Jeff, they've decided to woke up. The size of the group has been doubled in a... Yeah, the size of the group has been doubled in a push to diversify the cast. The new woke version of The Wiggles includes four women and non-binary characters, and the group has highlighted the ethnic diversity of its ranks too. Meets to high. I wear red, love to shuffle dance. Good to see you. Are you ready for a song? I wear purple and my name is John. Hello. Oh, it's Jerome. My name is Kelly and you are a friend. I skate and wear yellow. Well, the kids are running into the room now, I suppose. <laughs> In a statement to uh, on Instagram today, Wiggles explained that they're seeking to inspire a diverse audience with its gender-balanced and diverse cast. Fruit Salad TV is sure to put a smile on the faces of children all around the world who see themselves reflected on the screen. Dear, oh dear, do you really have to use diversity as an advertising gimmick? I mean, if you're serious, wouldn't you just expand your group? Why the preachiness? Joining me now is Bella Debrera, the Director of the Foundations of Western Civilization Program at the Institute of Public Affairs. Thanks for joining us again, uh, Bella. What's going on here? It's a gimmick, isn't it? Uh, but if, if, you were, if you were so uh, intent on diversity, you would just do it. This is the way the world is and you accept it, but they want to market this. Look, this is just nothing but more virtue signaling, but I'm sure I'm not the first person to have come up with this joke, but they should just really name they should just call themselves the wokels and be done with it <laughs> forget forget the wiggles um and when i first saw this headline i thought i thought i genuinely thought that there was going to be a transgender w wiggle or a drag queen wiggle and it turns out it's neither of those so i think they're actually lagging behind in the sort of the intersectionality olympics um but you know in all seriousness children don't see color they don't see gender these little three and four year olds just want to dance. They want to dance and sing about hot potatoes and brushing your teeth and fastening your seatbelts. And, um, and the thing about the Wiggles is that it's got universal appeal. The minute you bring in identity politics, it makes it particular and it, and it means that it's divisive. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if parents just go elsewhere for their entertainment because they don't want their children being indoctrinated, even in a very subtle way, um, uh, in something like the Wiggles. And, and I, I'd look, who knows if they're going to go broke. Uh, parents are just gonna have to watch pre-woke episodes of the Wiggles and, and forget everything from, you know, 2021 onwards. I mean, you're so right about children not seeing gender and race uh, and, you know, binary issues. They just accept people for what they are. That's the innocence of children that we love and want to preserve. So you certainly shouldn't be uh, using them, them as pawns in any game. Uh, I think it was Eddie Betts just recently, the great Carlton and Adelaide player on his retirement who's uh, often combated racism. He said, no child is born racist. They learn this stuff. So you just wonder whether a focus on it like this by the Wiggles actually makes kids conscious of this before they really need to be. Well, it probably does. And, you know, this is the... And the founder, Anthony Field, said... Um, it was very interesting, actually, his comment was, this is a moral... This has to be done because of, because of morals. This is a moral issue. Um, so, you know, it's really genuflecting at the altar of wokeism. This is all he's doing. And he's using children as an excuse to say that they want a more sort of diverse and uh, field of entertainers, which is just rubbish. Children just want to dance and sing. They don't care what colour the, the wiggles are or what gender they are. So um, it's just, um, you know, it's wrong. I think they're using, they're using the, ex the excuse of the children as a sort of shield to, to go down this, this woke path of virtual signalling. And I think it's, it's a shame. And I feel sorry for parents, especially at the moment, who are locked up in their houses and just need some simple entertainment. Um, <laughs> and, you know, they probably need the wiggles more than ever. Um, and I feel sorry for parents who can have to turn that off and find something else in these, in these difficult times. Flick the switch on the locals. Ooh. Thanks for joining us, Bella. I appreciate it. Thanks so much, Chris. Bella De Brera there, and I've got to, I've got to say, if it's not clear from me and Bella, I'm, it, bring everyone on. We love all the diversity at the locals, at the Wiggles. The point is, just don't preach about it. Just bring them on. If it's not an issue, it's not an issue. Why make a big deal about it? Going woke. Let's hope they don't go broke because they've been very good for the country and for a lot of kids.